Welcome back. This is John Locke, and today I'm here to discuss this interesting Twitter thread from Google Search Liaison. This is run by Danny Sullivan, who used to work at Search Engine Land. Now he's a Google representative. This tweet here. Yesterday, a concern was raised that calorie information was required for recipes to be included in or to rank well for Google Search. This is not the case. Moreover, structured data like this has no impact on ranking in web search. This thread is more, we hope, eases concerns. Now, I'm going to go back to where this comes from, and we're going to talk about structured data. All right, so yesterday there was this thing going around on uh, Twitter. So this person tweeted, me trying to create a food blog that doesn't participate in diet culture. Google, enable calorie counts on your recipe cards or risk not appearing in search results. And the reason this person said this, they were shown a screenshot of a message that they got from Google Search Console. And it said, recipes issues detected on thepracticalkitchen.com. Search Console has identified that your site is affected by one recipe issues. Top warning, missing field nutrition calories. Now these are uh, pieces of structured data that appear on recipe sites. Um, structured data is a data that, that gives like uh, more information about a particular thing and Google might uh, use that in uh, search results. But um, if you have schema markup, which I'll show you what that is in a second, then there are certain things that, that the structured data uh, tool looks for or that Google bot looks for when it crawls the site if it sees structured data for recipes. So let's show you what that is really quick. So schema.org is a way of marking up uh, certain things. You can also use uh, microformats. That's another way of marking up things for structured data, but uh, there are different uh, types of structured data for different things. Uh, so we're looking for recipes. Let's go ahead and search recipes. Okay, so recipe, schema.org recipe. Um, this is filed under thing, creative work, how to recipe, but uh, structured data for a recipe has different properties that can appear. Cook time, cooking method, nutrition, recipe category, recipe cuisine, ingredients, instructions, recipe yield, all these different things. So uh, calorie count apparently is one of these things that it's looking for. Nutrition, okay. So you're looking for nutrition calories, okay. Ah, can't spell, sorry. Okay, so nutrition. Okay, so nutrition information. This is one of the things that it's looking for is nutrition information. So nutrition dot calories. I guess it's been a minute since I've done like recipe markup. So f forgive me. It's been a minute. It's been a couple days since I've done this. Okay, uh, but basically, you get nutrition information about the recipe or, mess, or uh, menu item and uh, total calories would be one of those things. Let's take a look. So let's take a look at Google's structured data testing tool. Okay, so let's see if we, this allows you to test different things. Let's see if we can find a recipe in order to test it out. Let's check it out. We'll say banana bread. Okay. We'll take a look at this one. So as you can see, there's different things that are appearing here, right? Um, you can see that there's rating stars. There's like prep, a total prep time. This one hour, 40 minutes, one hour, 25 minutes. There's ingredients here. This is all structured data that it's pulling out. Okay. So, and you can see 229 calories. That is an example of structured data at work in recipes. Uh, so let's take a look. Let's take a look at this one. All recipes, banana bread. Okay, so here's the reviews, there's photos. There's, uh, there's different things here. So these are all the ingredients, right? 
Here's directions on how to cook it. Uh, calories. Let's see if... Take a look at this. So calorie count description. Calorie count. Mm -hmm. I don't know if this is all in... Um, there. Oh, okay. So right here you can see schema.org markup right here for recipe. There's a link to the URL of the page. Um, recipe category bread, quick bread, fruit bread, banana bread. These are recipe categories. These are item prop properties. It's bread crumb list. Let's see what other things we can pull out from this. We'll run it through structured data. Okay, so you can see that, okay, so there's two warnings. There's one item. Uh, bread crumb list is its own thing, but recipe, you can see that it's got uh, schema data for recipe. There's a URL. Here's the things we just saw. Recipe category, right? It's pulling this out. Image. The name. The description. This is the description. Recipe yield. Recipe ingredients. Here's all the different ingredients. Prep time, 15 minutes. Cook time, 1 hour, 5 minutes. Total time, 1 hour, 20 minutes. That's what shows up right there. See, an hour, 20 minutes. Okay, so this is recipe instructions. It's marked up, right? There's a video object. There's a video for the um, banana bread, apparently. All this. Okay, image, description, all this. This is under the deal. Okay, so the publisher uh, has schema data too for the organization, the name of the organization, the logo. Um, there's aggregate rating for this, so it's a 4.59 out of 11,000 reviews. Right there, rating 4.6, 11,065 reviews. The author is Shelley Albaloon. Albaloon? I know I'm saying that wrong. I'm sorry. Uh, but nutrition, you can see here. Uh, calories, 229, fat content, carbohydrate content, protein content, cholesterol content, sodium content, all these different things, right? And then there's different reviews. These are all marked up, right? As reviews. So here's some other examples from this one where they have warnings. These are not errors, but they're warnings. Google is recommending here that they have keywords. And then recipe, cuisine. Um, I don't know if this is cuisine. See, it's right there. Recipe, cuisine. So that is there. So that is recommended, right? So these have warnings too. Okay, but anyway, this person was saying they did. I, I don't think that they understood this. This is just a suggestion so that they can get some of these other things up here because Google does look to pull this information out uh, from recipes specifically. And you can see a lot of the top results. They have these, they have ratings, they have prep time. They have, um, it's pulling out these little snippets of the instructions. The whole first page has that. Calories, calories, it's all there. Prep time. Some of them don't have calories showing up here. Some of them just have the overall rating, and uh, some of them have the prep time, some of them have the prep time and the calories, but uh, if they can find it, they're going to put it there. So that's all this really is. Uh, this person said, Google now censors blogs for not including enough Google-friendly content. Missing field praise for Google is more like it. That's not the case. There's a bunch of other comments below this I'm not going to go into, but... So the Google uh, search liaison said, okay, so back to this. They're saying calorie information is required for recipes to be included in or to rank well for Google search. That's not the case. Uh, the recommendations from Google Search Console, they're like automated suggestions. If they're looking for, if they see structured data for a recipe and there's some of these things that, that might be missing, they're just suggestions. That's all.
you could run it through structured data testing tool. You could you could see these warnings there as well. Um, but these things have warnings. That's the number one result, and it is warnings. So it's not a big deal. Not that big of a deal. Enough people are finding this useful to where this is the top rated page for a banana nut bread recipe. Enough people are finding use out of it to where this page is the, the top rated thing. Okay. So uh, it also says here, content owners can provide structured data as an optional way to enhance their web page listings. It has no impact on ranking. Using it may simply help pages that already rank well to appear more attractive to potential visitors. And again, you can see these Food Network All Recipes and are, are big brands. I don't know about Tastes Better from Scratch. I don't know if that's a big brand or not. But I know that these two are. So that probably has something to do with it too. But here's some other ones. Salty Marshmallow Food.com. That's a big brand. The Kitchen. Bon Appetit. Big brand. Cooking Classy. I don't know about that one. Delish.com. I know that's a big brand. Natasha's Kitchen. Not sure. Inspired Taste. Spend with Pennies. I, I don't know enough about this. But um, these are all things that are pulling out the schema data. They, they have the image, the name, the publisher, the review prep time, the ingredients, and they're showing all that information right there. So very interesting, just a suggestion. If you want to follow the suggestions, that's fine. If you don't, you don't. That's fine too. But uh, they go on to say, recipes providing calorie information through structured data may then show these calories as part of the recipes web page listing as can be seen below. And you can also see how recipes may appear with no calorie info or any structured data at all. It shows some screenshots here. Uh, the Guardian here, there's no structured data, but New York Times it has some Food Network spruce eats. They're showing data. It's just a way that it can automatically show some of this stuff, if that makes sense. Okay. So it says, he, they go on to say, aside from web page listings, Google search may have some special features where certain basic structure data is required to be eligible to appear, such as carousels. This is a carousel up here. Structure data is required to appear up here in this part way at the top of the page before we get to the regular organic results here, if that makes sense. Okay. For recipe carousels, calorie info is still not required. But some of these other things, it looks like it, it would be image, um, prep time, ingredients. Those might be required because these all seem to have them. And review stars, review aggregate, review rating. So there has to be a mechanism for people leaving a review and a rating. That seems to be the case. So now to the source of the confusion on this issue. Search Console is a free tool that Google provides. It's designed to help content producers do better in search, including suggesting possible improvements or catching possible oversights with content in search, which that automated email, that does. I get them too. Believe me, I get, I get these automated emails all the time. Anyway. One of our standard Search Console improvement messages shown below caused a content producer to believe calorie info was required to be in Google Search, and we apologize for the concern caused. Our wording should have been much clearer to indicate that this was an optional suggestion. And then they show the screenshot. Our goal with these types of messages is to help content producers understand if there are opportunities that they're missing, we'll be reviewing the wording of these messages to better achieve that goal and not inadvertently cause concerns. I just thought this this was um, I just thought this was interesting. Um, so if you have received in the past a message from Google Search Console and it's uh, telling you to improve something, it's really just trying to help you out. That's all it is. It's not saying you're not going to appear in search. But it is just trying to help you out. That's all. My name's John Locke. My business is Lockdown Design and SEO. And I am here every single day making videos on SEO at this address right here. <laughs> and uh, hey, 
I want to thank all the people who have subscribed recently. We're almost up to 500 subscribers. We're almost up to 90,000 views. That's pretty cool. Thank you. Thank you so much. All right. That's all for now. I'll be back tomorrow, tomorrow with another video. And until next time, peace.